Hey y'all, Angie M here. So I am not feeling great. Um, so not feeling great that after I dropped the kid off at school and picked up some, some Starbucks, which I'm trying to, to completely get away from, I forgot I bought myself coffee and left it sitting on the island. So I'm going to be drinking my coffee while I do some filming. But while I have some energy, I figured I'd do a little bit of I figured I'd get a little bit of filming done. Um, I took a PTO day from work. My my head is just, it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Like yesterday, I had to have my husband pick the kiddo up from school. It's normally my day and, and take her off to uh, her gymnastics because I just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. It feels, it doesn't feel like respiratory. It's just sitting in my sinuses and I, I said earlier that I, you know, I thought I already had a sinus infection. So maybe this is just like a repeat of it. I don't know. There's stuff going around at her, at her daycare. And I've said this, you know, to other people. It, it just, it feels like everything we see in fall, for whatever reason, we're seeing now in spring. And I know that people will say, oh, well, it's the weather change or it's this or it's that. But it's like, that's not how viruses work. We've we've unmasked, which I don't necessarily think is a part of it because I I don't know how much masking has really stopped. But I think it's more to do with becoming more lax about sanitization. Because like at the height of this, man, it was it was like all it was like all all ickiness kind of went away. And I think a lot of it had to do with just kids are gross, man. Kids kids are uh, kids are gross. Ooh, I keep hitting my desk with the scissors. Oh, I just gouged. Eh, whatever. It's not... Why? All right. Two gouges. So since they keep sliding off the box, we're just going to do it this way. I keep meaning to purchase something to actually be able to do that with easier. And I keep forgetting and... I have to get a decent cutter. I'm not sure if this is touch me or custom. So you guys will get to be surprised with me. The the one thing, kind of the one issue I have is sometimes, well not sometimes, but when Bad Respect sends stuff, I don't always know, like if I have a custom ordered that's in production, I don't know if it's the custom or if this is the, the touch me that I ordered, so we'll, we'll be surprised together. Okay, this is, this is my touch me. And it is the thinner back plate. So some of you know that I had a TM to back that I sold and was really kind of upset with because when I got it, the first iteration had if you got a 30 millimeter, it had the 30 millimeter back plate. They have gone to a smaller back plate. And I know this because I asked when they did their last restock if the back plate was 30 millimeter or if it was 25 millimeter. And they confirmed for Petra confirmed for me that it was a 25 millimeter back plate. So that is awesome sauce. Gold rings. I do keep all of this stuff. And I'm not going to take it out because I don't think I'm going to switch into this right away. I'm going to talk in another video about the planner that I'm currently using. But uh, 30 millimeter cross rings. I don't know if I'm going to sell my J my 30 millimeter JL, my Janet leather. The smell of it is just, it really bugs me. I don't know why it's a sickly sweet leather smell. It just is. Like this isn't, this smells like leather. Whereas the JL just, it does. It's got a sickly sweetness to it and I don't know why. But this this guy here is the, the TM Tabac. So here's the Janet Leather versus the Tabac. The, the Tabac is very orange in comparison to the Janet Leather. Wow, yeah, I just picked up the Janet Leather and I just caught a whiff of that. And I, like, guys, I can't. I can't with that. That smell is atrocious. And it's definitely a leather smell. I even had my husband sniff it, and my husband goes, no, that it smells like leather. But there is something about the smell that I can't. I'm going to sell this guy. I, I can't. I can't do that scent. It hurts. It hurts. It's painful. I don't care for it. So I'm going to just pull my... 
I really like this pen with it. Pull it out. I like the color of the JL. I like the color of the JL a little bit more. But again, I can't with that scent. So I'm going to I'm going to sell this guy and I'm just going to stay now that I have with a smaller back plate, I'm just going to this will just be my brown and I am fine with that. I'm actually okay with that because I might want to use this as a wallet too when I if I slot back into it for a long period of time. I like that I can put my credit cards back here as opposed to cards in the front. I mean, she's squishy. She's nice. She feels better in my hand than the last one because of that smaller back plate. And we've talked about the back plates before. I have a smaller hand. So when I go to hold it in my hand, the bigger back plate just felt wrong. But there we go. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, she smells like leather. I'm just going to pick up. I have a stack here that I'm selling. Yeah, my other ones don't smell sickly sweet. I do have another JL. It's 20, it's 20 millimeter. So I don't know if it will work for me anymore. I have it here. I actually really like the texture of this one more than this one. Like, like I like this one a lot more. Yeah, this one does not have that same sickly sweet smell. This just smells like leather. And then it's 20 millimeter rings with a Sakura inside and then a big back pocket, which I don't have on this one. I, I, I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep my, my 20. I think that's how this is going to play out. I'm going to keep my 20 and I'm going to sell the 30. I like the 20 more. I like the color of the 20 better. I like the texture of the 20 better. So I'm going to keep my 20, sell my, I'm going to de-stash my 30. I just, yeah, I can't, I can't get over that scent. And I've heard from others that theirs did that same thing. So I think it is the leather, which is fine. I mean, I have nothing else that smells like this. So I, I don't know guys, but I think she's going to go. I was going to sell my 22 because I don't actually see myself back in and using it because everything I'm using right now is 30, but I mean, my planning changes, so maybe I'll keep, I'll hang on to the 20 millimeter, see how that goes, and I'll change it out if I need to change it out and just go from there. All right. Much love, but that is, that is the difference between the TM Tabac, which is more of a pumpkin spice color. It's more of an orangey color. And then the Janet leather, which is more of a brown. Both very warm, but just slightly different tones. So I'm working on, on my planner, and I thought I would just do a quick update video. I was really disheartened. I pulled out my 20 millimeter Janet leather. Allie, shh, please. <laughs> We're starting to get loud. She's supposed to be cleaning up her room so she can come in and start getting ready for, for bedtime. But I was, I was playing with my, with the idea of going into my Janet leather 20 millimeter. And what I found was, so I pulled it out and I, I gave it the sniff test and it's got the same smell going on with it that the other one has. It's not as strong, so when I compared the two, I didn't notice it because it's not as strong, so it smelled different enough that I was like, oh, okay. I sniffed one of my Krakos, and, and it's fine. It's got a, just a, a normal standard smell, but then I, I'm sniffing this guy, and this guy is is new. So it's not like it's been sitting in my house. It, it couldn't have absorbed anything in my house. And I'm sniffing it, and as I'm sniffing it, I'm realizing it's got the same scent. Not to the same extent, to a much lesser extent. What I think is happening, because I sniffed my other my other touch me's is I think the Janet leather, I think they're all starting with the same smell, which is kind of a sweeter smell. And I don't know why the leather has sort of a, a sweeter smell to the leather, but what I am finding is I think the Janet leathers are developing that scent. So I think the touch me leathers aren't, whereas the Janet leather is. 
it's very strange. Again, I've already asked in the VDS group about it, and I had one person, you know, confirm that, yeah, it the Janet Leather, for, for whatever reason, develops a scent to it that's pretty that's pretty strong i i don't know why i it could just be how the leather ages i'm not sure if it's something i can get rid of per se and i you know i had someone else who said yeah it smells strong but i, I love how it smells so i they all kind of have they all kind of have the same scent to them it's just the touch me seem to develop it to a much lesser extent. So if you don't like a very strong scent to your leather or you prefer a leather where the scent wears away or wears down over time as opposed to growing, Janet leather might not be for you. I don't know about the other leathers, but it's very bizarre to me. Anyway, I just thought I'd give a quick update since I noticed it with this one as well.